Are you seeing your connection is not private error while browsing the internet? In this video, you will know how to fix the your connection is not private error. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. What is your connection is not private error? The browser displays your connection is not private error when it couldn't verify that the website you are visiting is safe or not. The browser uses this message to warn you that the website you are trying to visit is unsafe and your confidential data may get stolen. When you try to visit a website, your browser checks the website's certificate to make sure that your connection is encrypted and private. If the certificate isn't up to the standard, the browser prevents you from accessing the site. Why does your connection is not private error appear? When you open a website that is using HTTPS protocol, your browser checks for the SSL certificate, and when the SSL certificate is expired or not correctly configured, the browser immediately stops the connection and displays, your connection is not private error. The SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer Certificate. It is used to identify the server location of the website. With the help of SSL, your browser makes sure that you are connected to the genuine server and your data is encrypted before sending and receiving. So when the browser couldn't verify the SSL certificate, it shows you a warning that your connection is not private. There could be several reasons for this error. The SSL certificate is missing or expired. Your browser is outdated. Date and time is not matching. Conflicting DNS settings. Your antivirus is interfering. The SSL is not configured correctly on the server. Let's thank our sponsor, Malwarefox, for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. How to fix the your connection is not private error on browsers. To fix this error, let's try some common fixes first before going into detailed solutions. Reload the page. If you see the error, don't get spooked. Try reloading the page. The page might reload and you don't have to go through detailed fixes. Restart the browser. You can also restart the browser. Just close the whole browser window to try and open the website again. Go incognito. You try opening the website in a private or incognito window and sometimes it does work. Change the browser. If you see your connection is not private error on a browser, try opening the website in another browser. Clear browsing data. You can try clearing the browsing data. On Chrome, press Ctrl plus the H button. Now click on clear browsing data. Select everything and delete the data. On Firefox, click on Menu, then on Settings. Now select Privacy and Security tab. Then go to Cookies and Site Data. Click on Clear Data, then Clear it. Now go to the History. Click on Clear History, select everything in the time range, then click OK. Then try opening the website. Restart the PC. The next common fix you can try is to restart your PC, close everything, restart the PC, and open the website again. Check date and time. If the date and time setting is not accurate on your system, your browser could display your collection is not private error because the browser checks the validity of the SSL certificate using the date, and if the settings are not accurate, it will display the error. To fix that, click on the time and date on the taskbar. If the date and time setting is inaccurate, right-click on it, Click on Adjust Date Time. Now make sure you have selected the correct time zone. If you are connected to the internet, you can sync the clock by clicking on Sync Now. If not, you can manually set the date and time by clicking on Change. Once you have set the date and time, try to open the website. Check if you are using a public Wi-Fi. If you are on public Wi-Fi, your browser might display this error because most public Wi-Fi hotspots are poorly configured and they won't run on HTTPS. It is better not to use such a network to access sites with critical data. Another way to access confidential sites on public Wi-Fi is to use VPN. It provides a secured, encrypted connection to visit such sites. 
Check DNS in your PC and router. The DNS is responsible for resolving the IP address of the server you are trying to open. When your browser detects unexpected changes in the DNS, it couldn't verify the security certificate and displays the error, so you should check the DNS settings on your PC and in your router. To do that, open Settings. Go to Network and Internet. Now here, click on Change Adapter Options. Now right-click on your active internet connection and choose Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on Properties. Now here, if you see anything entered in the DNS settings, select the Obtain DNS Server Address automatically. If it is already selected, select the Use the following DNS Server Address and enter the Google Public DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and here, 8.8.4.4. Now click OK. If you are using IPv6 addresses, then select version 6 and go to Properties. Then do the same here. The IPv6 Google Public DNS address is the description. Copy and paste it here. Now you should check it on your router also. If you don't have access to your network router, contact your internet service provider. Log into the router, then find the section where you can change the DNS settings. Here, select the default DNS provided by the ISP. Seek help. If you have tried all the steps and are still facing this error, contact your ISP. If you are facing this issue with a particular website, then it means that the SSL certificate of that website is not properly configured. If you know the owner, you can email them or tell them that their site is not working on social media. The owner might not be aware, and now he will resolve it quickly. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 Tips and Tricks.